This is my generator in my shed and my modified exhaust comes out the roof of the shed and out the side, right, down the side. This allows me to run the generator in the shed with the shed doors closed in the event of middle of winter snowstorm power outage. It's an inverter generator and it's got what I've called a unalive yourself plug. This plugs into the generator. Actually my RV's 30 amp extension cord plugs into the generator. This plugs into that. And this back feeds into the dryer outlet. Not the safest way to do it, but that's the way I do it. Anyways, this thing's fairly quiet when it's in the shed. on eco mode close the shed door and I'm about six now 18 feet away from the shed put a, put a load on it 1500 watts out of the 3000 that's available and even that still pretty silent. That's a little muffler used for uh, diesel heater, those diesel fired uh, Chinese heaters. And this corrugated pipe is also actually for those Chinese diesel heaters or those Webesto diesel heaters people put in RVs or camper vans. Hose clamp to a piece of copper pipe. And when it goes through the roof, it's wrapped in a bunch of uh, exhaust heat wrap, that fabric heat wrap, so it doesn't rattle. And there we go. That's how I can run my generator in my shed Got a hole there for just a little bit of fresh air intake. I might put one on the side there hooked up to a fan that powers up when I turn the generator on just to blow all the heat out of here. But so far, that's what I got. Here's my electrical panel. See how it is off. All these breakers are still on. I have power in my house. Oh, that's falling down. Okay, I'm going to have to fix that. Anyways, I still have power in the house. Furnace is blowing hot air. And that is because in the previous video, I showed you about my unalive yourself cord. It had two male ends on it. Well, here's the part two to it. Plugs into a 30 amp RV extension cord. Goes out the window to the shed and we'll head out there. So there's that cord coming from the basement. There's the generator's exhaust. There's the generator just working away. Stand back, I don't know, 20 ish feet. There it is. And inside, as you can see, all of the appliances are on. And even keeps the lizard warm. Throw on that microwave 
and let's see if this microwave trips the generator. She struggled a little till the generator kicked up speed. But I think in the event of an actual power outage, I'll just take the eco mode off, let the generator run full throttle so that it doesn't have to try and throttle up while producing more amperage.